Cappy's, Cappy's Greatest, greatest adventure. adventure. Journey, Journey, Journey to the center, center of the intestine. Gosh, Mom, why do I have to keep coming to the doctor's office? I'm going to miss my soccer game. I know it's frustrating, Tom, to be missing out on another soccer game, but remember how you saw that blood in the toilet? We still haven't figured out where that blood is coming from, and until we do, it will likely happen again. That's right, Tom. You are a bit of a puzzle. So far, we have done two tests to try and find the source of that blood. During the endoscopy, we put a small camera in your mouth and were able to look at your esophagus, stomach, and the very beginning of your small intestine. That area looked healthy. In doing the colonoscopy, we were able to look at your large intestine and the very end of your small intestine. And again, that all looked healthy. I suspect that the problem is somewhere in the middle of your small intestine where the scopes can't reach. To look at this area, we use a tiny capsule that contains a camera. It's called a video capsule. The capsule is about the size of a large pill that you swallow. As the capsule moves through your small intestine, it will take thousands of pictures, enabling us to explore the inside of your small intestine. Will it hurt? This is a pretty easy test. All you have to do is swallow a capsule, which is like taking a vitamin. If that is hard for you to do, we can give you ways to practice. Uh, okay. I suppose I could try that. Tom, you don't sound convinced. Imagine the capsule to be Happy the Correspondent. You know, like a news reporter, what at first appears to be an ordinary pill. We see on closer examination. It's actually Cappy taking pictures, like a reporter in a distant land. Yes, sirree, it's me, all right. Cappy, the video capsule. Cappy sends the pictures to a recorder so that we can see them later on the computer. We'll see exactly what Cappy has seen. Amazing, right? We will ask you to wear this belt that will hold the recorder. Cappy will beam his pictures to this recorder. You will need to wear this belt for a day so that Cappy can take lots of pictures. It is like a belt that superheroes wear. Cool! I can't wait to meet Cappy. And he can't wait to meet you. Tom, this will help us figure out what's going on inside your intestine so we can treat it and help you feel better. Well, Tom, are you ready for Cappy's latest adventure? Sure am, Dr. Hannaford. Okay, Tom, just relax and swallow the capsule. After you swallow it, you can walk around and do what you would normally do in a typical day. Whee! Man, I can't wait to find out what Tom's problem is. I wouldn't trade this job for anything. So many twists and turns in the intestine. I better be fast at taking pictures so I don't miss anything. Whoa, what's that? I bet Dr. Hannaford will be interested in seeing that. Well, Tom, we found the cause of your problem. You did a great job swallowing the capsule and wearing the recorder. Wow, is that the inside of me? It sure is. Mom, see what Cappy found? Now I can get better. That's right, Tom. Thanks to Cappy and Dr. Hannaford, we can now develop a plan to treat your problem. And I won't have to miss any more soccer games. In real life, capsules don't talk, but I hope you enjoyed our story. Working with healthcare professionals to make patients healthy makes me the happiest Cappy in the world. Here are some tips to get the most out of this test. 1. Follow your doctor's directions carefully before the study. Most capsule studies require you not to eat or drink for about eight hours prior to swallowing the capsule. Two, once you swallow the capsule, make sure not to pull any of the recorder leads off your body. These leads are necessary to help Cappy beam photographs to the recorder. Three, 
Most people will pass the capsule within one to three days after swallowing it. Check the toilet after every bowel movement to make sure the capsule has passed. If you have not seen the capsule pass after four days, call your doctor. Once the capsule has passed, you can flush it down the toilet. You do not, I repeat, you do not need to retrieve it or return the capsule once it has passed. Four, avoid contact with high-powered magnets. This includes MRI scanners until you know the capsule has passed. Thank you.